Hey Scorpio, this is Chronic Joy Tarot and this is going to be your mid-month update for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising, October 2017 or whenever you happen upon this video. I like to think that energy draws you in different directions and if you've just come upon this video and it's not mid-October, that's fine because this is meant for you to watch, okay? Um, this is definitely a general reading. It's not going to land on everybody. If it doesn't, just go ahead and um, move on to another video, maybe on your sun, moon, your um, moon or rising sign in my channel, or um, you know, put it down for a little bit and come back and watch it later. It's not always going to resonate with everybody because it's general. It couldn't possibly really be specific for everyone. Um, the tar the oracle card that I'm using at this point. For this reading is from the Earth Magic deck there by Stephen D. Farmer. And if you'd like to book a private reading, I know some of you have done it through the About section of my channel, and there's a link to my website as well. You can email me or follow the link, and then we can talk about your specific questions at that time. Okay, for you, Scorpio, the card I pulled that will guide us through this reading and the theme to focus on is Lightning source of power okay now I'm going to read a little passage from this little booklet because I really like the message that it that it brings in regards to this card and it says that the power available to you the force of life itself is neutral it's neither inherently good nor bad it is how you utilize it that will determine whether it is ultimately harmful or life-giving and congruent with the will of spirit that pulses through you. So what this is saying, and this is sort of like saying that the issue, you know, how you relate to the issue is the issue. This is talking about your own personal power to move through your life and decide how to respond to your life in every moment. So um, it's taking the focus off of others and, and you know, um, reorganizing it and actually emboldening it within you. You have the power. No one else really has power over the decisions you make. You do. And if others are doing things that are not congruent with your needs, make a decision to, you know, go in another direction. Resisting against them and trying to point fingers and saying you're you know, you're this, you're that, you made me feel this, that's disempowering. That takes your power out of your center, okay? And it places it on someone else. So this is, we're going to talk about true self-empowerment here and the way you relate to shifts and movements and changes in your life is going to create the experience that you have, okay? The starting point here is success. I love it because I feel the minute I pulled this, the second I saw it, I thought, okay, we're talking about self-empowerment and learning that um, we have the choices to make in any given situation and I really feel you've got this. Like maybe you you just are, are in that space now, Scorpio, or you've always had it and you're just learning to enhance it a little um, or that you're about to really, really fully feel the nature, the true nature of your self-power, okay? And that your decisions create your experience. It's so clear. And I think that um, in this, you know, the environment we're in and all the social media and all the, you know, messaging that we receive every day in our hands can be a little disarming and it can actually be, it feels like we're connecting and it's empowering, but I think there's a certain aspect of it that is disempowering. That what happened to just sitting in front of another and talking and looking them in the eye to get to know their thoughts and, and really experiencing that person. Instead, we're just throwing messages out there. And um, I think that's kind of given away some of our power. And I think maybe Scorpio, since you're such a deeply, um, you're such a deep person, you know, you're a deep spirit, you're getting this. I think you, it's probably, um, you know, if it, if it weren't for the need to try to 
sort of um, control certain situations, you would probably get, um, you know, because we're human and we all kind of tend toward that sometimes, um, you would probably get this the most, th this concept, you would get it the most um, successfully because you are so deep and you're so connected to the true nature of your spirit. Okay, the first card here that is an internal energy that could possibly block progress to your self-empowerment. <laughs> yep, okay, did I just say let go of the need to control? <laughs> is control. And we all really, as human beings, we want to feel that we have a sense of control over the course of our life and um, the outcomes. You know, we have control over the outcomes, control over, um, you know, maybe in another in a relationship that you know I like you to behave like this and so like really because that that's a false sense of of um, control the one thing you do have control over is the decisions you make okay in every step of the way and that date that circles right back to the theme of our reading here is that, that empowerment you cannot control external circumstances and letting go of that and getting embracing that knowledge and letting go of that need is what's going to help you progress and will keep you in this feeling of success that you're really getting you're grasping that real true eternal flow of life in your outside world you may trying to control situations in your outside world will bring what stress absolutely like i said the issue is the way you relate to the issue and if you're trying to exert force or control or hold things in place it will only create stress because it's impossible it's impossible to keep it all going um the only thing that is possible is that internal energy and your compass that's within that he teaches you and kind of you know claws at you and tells you you know go this way now go that way now right following your internal guidance is is where the power is the next internal energy is this card existence so um this one basically says home is wherever you are right so i'm thinking Maybe you've been feeling a little unsettled. This is also an internal energy. So maybe you've been feeling a little out of touch, out of place. This is all within. You know, you're not maybe expressing this to others. Um, but it's okay. Because you are, you, it, it just, it's just proving that, you know, gathering your power within and not throwing it away and giving it away and putting it out there is what you're guided to do right now for sure you'll feel a more uh, more of a sense of groundedness in the process right and that existence card and where you stand in relation to everything in the universe will become much more clear as long as you're garnering you know gathering your own you know lightning your own power okay and in the external world, I pulled guidance. Now, normally I would say, you know, follow your inner guide, which I did just say, which is important and you will be doing. But also now in your world, look for signs and follow those. You know, if you're, if you're fully aware, if you can get past these two cards here, this control and stress, and stick with the knowledge that you started with, which is success, you have the power to make the choices that enhance your life the most. Um, also be in that energy, also stay very aware of the signs that are going on around you. Um, I, I don't know, let's just say, I'm just gonna throw something out there, but let's just say you're considering getting a pet and you're not sure and you don't think, oh, can I really have that much um, responsibility you know I have to stay home all the time or you know if, if you get a pet like a small puppy but then you go out you know, for a walk in your neighborhood and every dog that passes you by comes to lick you and kiss you and, and engage with you you know that would be a, a guidance that would be the universe and your angels and your guides and God telling you you know pay attention 
pay attention to those inner nudges because yes, the answer is yes, right? So that's what I mean by looking for the signs in your external world. That was a totally made up story, but you get my drift, okay? <laughs> All right, the final internal energy here and the apex of your internal knowing is a sense of understanding. And this is beautiful because this talks about those barriers that we feel separate us from them, you know, um, are really an illusion. These, these doves are actually going to be coming together and the barrier, these bars are going to dissipate and disappear. This is an internal guide though. This is an internal energy. So what I'm getting is that whatever you feel when you're talking to yourself within is blocking you from gathering your own power and staying in that and not focusing on external situations to guide you. Whatever is blocking you from fully getting that is kind of an illusion as well. You don't have any blocks toward getting what you know, getting to the place where you want to be. You don't have any blocks to your success. Um, whether this is a real world success, you know, a day to day, new job, new relationship, new car, whatever the things are that you want to gather, um, or an internal knowing of success that you know I do have all the power I need within me to move through my life. And I don't really need anyone else's um, approval. Now, you do need others in your life. And, and as part of that oneness of being, you need that so you don't want to shut them out. But there isn't really anything stopping you. And when you get to that level of understanding that, you're going to feel the flow. And you're going to feel much less stress. <laughs> And much more power, self-power, that you can um, utilize to expand your life and your connections with others. This whole process here, um, getting past the need to control, reducing the stress in your life by tapping into your personal empowerment, knowing that you know the signs are there, the universe is there to support you, all that's going to lead to a sense of rebirth for you. And this is going to show up in your life, like in your day-to-day -day world. Um, this isn't just a sense of knowing you're reaching another level of understanding. This is really going to show up. Maybe your connections will become more enhanced. Maybe um, uh, certain decisions that you make or the, the way you decide to change your response to external situations might bring about a whole new sense of oneness and wellness with you and your loved ones. So the decision is yours. It's all within you. But, um, you know, try, you know, and be aware of these lower energies here of control that creates stress. The need to control creates stress. Be aware of that. You know, don't, don't um, try to force it out of your experience, but just be aware of it and then shift your focus to all that's within you and know every response you make is creating your experience, okay? All right, Scorpio, I hope that you enjoyed this reading and um, until the next time, I will talk to you guys soon. I'll talk to you in November. It's already November. Talk soon, thanks, love you guys, bye.